yeah. We, we were working as subcontractors to Bigelow Aerospace Advanced Space Studies, who had the contract to the Defense Intelligence Agency. Uh, I, yeah, there have been crashes. Uh, the superpowers on the Earth have had their share of crashes, and they have recovered the vehicles from their crashes. So uh, that's why Shock Lee and I agree that even though these things behave like a conscious psychic entity, they, they do have an advanced technology. They have hardware, and uh, there, there's a craft. And there's occupants, or euphonauts, that he calls them, that Shock Lee calls them euphonauts. <laughs> so there's uh, euphonauts running these craft. Uh, the point is, is that... Uh, that these things are operating, they go way outside the envelope of our engineering and physics technologies, and and uh, uh, I can guarantee you that no laws of physics are broken whatsoever. It's just that it's either uh, the existing laws that we have, but we haven't uh, extrapolated it further enough, further enough, or expanded it enough into realms or uh, areas of phase space where we could discover new solutions to uh, these existing physical laws which would give us advanced propulsion and power that would produce this type of technology once you have an engineering and a manufacturing technology to create these things. So that's where we're at. And these things don't look like anything that we can manufacture on Earth, so we don't have the manufacturing or industrial technology for it. We're, like, for example, that's what the 38 papers that the TIA wanted in their task mm -hmm. with their Bigel Aerospace Advanced Space Studies contract was to take the physics that we, physics and engineering of, 20, of 2009 and 2010 extrapolate it to 2050. Are we going to be able to have a physics and engineering and a technology industrial base that will produce a vehicle that will match the Tic Tacs? And on the flip side of that, boy, that would be wonderful if we could get there because commercially it would revolutionize transportation and energy on the Earth. And the interesting thing is that today there's a big move away from special access programs. They're extremely costly to maintain, extremely costly. Let me tell you this. Uh, the cost to maintain information, personnel, and physical security for a special access program can be tens of times larger than the cost of the program itself. The purpose of a black program with a special access program security wrap is you've got to limit the information and exposure to the information to as few people as possible in order to produce the maximum security protection against uh, espionage by the enemy.